What do you think of Jehovah's Witnesses? Witness me not answering the door. My mom married a dude who was a witness when I was 17. She then moved out of our apartment and I was on my own. They refused to help me because he was head of household and men control the finances in relationships like that. I struggled so fucking much in my early adulthood and while I was finishing high school. The guy ended up being abusive, hitting her, and they divorced after 14 years. He strangled her twice before she finally left and he almost killed her in Mexico. I will never forgive her for the bullshit that guy put me through from age 17 to 24. I wasn't his son, so I never received help. Meanwhile, his son, my stepbrother, was babied and received a lot of attention. I think being a witness is the worst thing a person could do. The religion is a weird fucking cult with archaic values and really shitty principles. My mom tried sending Watchtower magazines to my house and tried so many times to get me to convert. It's a religious cult. The elders at her kingdom hall tried to convince her to stop talking to me because I denied them so. Consistently. No birthdays. Holidays. Christmas. Gifts. Nothing. Basically from when I was 17 until she divorced him. Now that my mom is on her own. She randomly wants to celebrate Christmas and holidays and has Christmas lists and shit. It's fucking stupid and I'm pissed. My mom was this badass feminist who could rule the world before she met that fucker. Becoming a Jehovah's Witness muted her personality and turned her into this post-witness. PTSD ridden mess. Fuck that religion and fuck anyone who is a witness. Edit. She tried to get me to stop getting vaccinated and stop getting allergy shots. One of their friends got into a motorcycle accident and refused blood transfusions. Which almost killed him. He lost a leg and an arm instead. This ask reddit question angered me so much. Yes I'm in therapy. Not celebrating anything. Birthdays. Holidays. Is just bizarre. It's sad for the kids at school. They can't participate in any celebrations. Halloween. Xmas parties and don't even get a card on their birthday. A malevolent cult that inflicts serious harm on people. Well, they're homophobes. So there's that. Also, they've expanded to telephone solicitation. I got a call from one today. Their children are always sad when the class has a party and they have to go to the library instead of getting a cupcake. 8.7 million people who believe only 144,000 people go to heaven. It's the religion for fans of the lottery and people terrible at math. Withholding blood transfusions from a minor is child abuse. It's a cult. I feel so bad for everyone who is trapped in that cult. I had to go to JW Church as a kid because my mom's partner's parents were ones. Instantly I was like, this shit is whack. You seriously believe these fairy tales? I never paid attention in just dissociated and ate the coffee nips the grandma gave me. Shit is a cult. Imho most religion is a cult. PPL a whack. XJW here. It's a cult. They cover up child sex abuse on a massive scale. They would rather kill their own children than allow a blood transfusion. They are evolution deniers and believe in Noah's Ark as real history. They've predicted dates for Armageddon and been wrong repeatedly. They discourage education. They shun ex-members. Even family. They will break HIPAA to snitch on other members. I think pretty negatively of them. I was raised Mormon. LDS. In Utah. Mormons were part of the same restorationism movement as part of the Second Great Awakening.
so they have a lot of similarities with Jehovah's Witnesses. And I don't think favorably of Mormonism either. I had an ex-Jehovah's Witness roommate for nearly a year. He was adopted by a JV family and was disowned by them and kicked out as a teenager. I find their tradition of shunning family members to be barbaric. It is not only a high investment religion, but a cult. I don't hate the members. It isn't their fault and I see them as victims. I hate the organization. If they really thought only 144,000 people were gonna make it. Why the hell are they going door to door? Isn't availability pretty scarce at this point? I worked with a guy who was J.H. and we didn't know and made him a cake to celebrate his birthday. He looked so sad and declined our celebration. It was so awkward. Also when I was a little girl. Seven or so. We briefly had J.H. neighbors who had a girl my age and she told me my stuffed animals were going to come alive at night and kill me. I was scarred. IDK if that was a JH thing though. The whole blood transfusion thing is ridiculous. Especially in things such as childbirth. So you'd rather the baby be without a mother than use someone else's blood absolutely stupid. Also follow what religion you want but don't go knocking people's doors trying to push your ideology onto them. They also got some patience. Standing there for hours holding out the pamphlet.